So you know why you clicked on this video, you want to learn about Resizable Bar, and right now I am in-game with Resizable Bar off, I'm on Lighthouse, I'm just at this cliff right here looking over this ruined village, and right now I'm getting about 95 FPS, I'm going to spare you the bullshit, I'm going to show you how to enable it with Escape from Tarkov in specific, and I'm going to show you what Resizable Bar actually is, so you know what you're doing, and you know the risks and benefits, or rather the downsides and benefits of using Resizable Bar. So totally not future me here speaking. If you don't know what Resizable Bar is, let me explain really quick. Essentially, as NVIDIA states in the article linked below, GPU memory is constantly accessed by the CPU to store game assets such as textures and shaders. Because of how massive these transfers have become, and how big... VRAM amounts are nowadays, the amount of transfers has grown exponentially. So, with Resizable Bar enabled, assets can be requested as needed and sent in full, aka not bit by bit. This eliminates queuing to streamline the texture streaming process and supposedly improve FPS. First, let's go in and enable Resizable Bar in the BIOS, and I can't show that as I don't have a capture card, but to use Resizable Bar on a 30 series card, you will need to go into your BIOS, Find the setting along with above 4G decoding or above 4G encoding. I forgot what it's called. I'll put it on screen and enable both those features. And then you can have resizable bar. And I'll show you how to make sure you have it on in the NVIDIA control panel. But I'm going to go turn that on real quick. Be right back. So to make sure that you have resizable bar enabled, all you need to do is go to your NVIDIA control panel. You can just right click on your desktop and hit NVIDIA control panel or launch it however you normally do. And once you have this booted up, all you need to do is go to system information. And then here you'll see if resizable bar says yes, then it is enabled. Now, if it says no, then it means you did not enable it in the BIOS correctly. And if you don't see resizable bar here at all, then you don't have a GPU that can support resizable bar. However, if it says yes, you're good to go to the next part. But don't launch Tarkov yet because I need to show you something else before we actually get started. Because Tarkov decided to fuck me over and start raining, it's not the exact same situation that you'd expect from the previous clip. But we're back and I enabled Resizable Bar and just enabled it, didn't touch anything else except for the BIOS setting. And right now we are experiencing slightly better performance, I think that's about 4 frames or so. So it is slightly better performance, but we want to make sure that resizable bar is enabled because what NVIDIA has done is they've essentially barred resizable bar, no pun intended, to about 20 games that are officially supported. So to make sure that Tarkov is utilizing resizable bar, we need to download a program called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And I'll put an image on screen so you can see what that website looks like. It'll be linked in the description below. You're going to have to download that application, and then I will meet you in that application in just a moment. So when you first boot up the NVIDIA Profile Inspector EXT, you'll be greeted with this window. And once you pull up this window, we're going to have to make one change before we actually make any changes. And that's to select the game that we're going to be making these changes in, which is Escape from Tarkov. So you have to go up to the top left here, where it says Global Driver Profile, and hit the little down arrow. And then you're going to have to scroll down through here until you see Escape from Tarkov. And the list should be about the same length for everybody, so I'm going to scroll down and you'll see where my scroll wheel and you can go to the roughly the same place and probably find escape from tarkov by the way i was a dumbass you can literally just type it into the top window i'm i'm really stupid just type in escape and you'll see escape from tarkov so there we go i found escape from tarkov so i'm going to click into that and now once i'm in here now i can actually go and change the setting that i'm going to change so let's scroll all the way down until we see the unknown section. If you don't see the unknown section, you have to go up to the top center here and click show unknown settings from NVIDIA predefined profiles, this little magnifying glass right here. Just click that, make sure that's enabled, and then you'll see this here. And the three things that we want to find in here are FUBA, OOB, and FOOF. <laughs> and once you've found these three settings, we're going to have to change these and enable them so that we can actually get resizable bar fully enabled. Before you change these though, make sure that if you have Escape from Tarkov open in the background, you close it down. Once that's closed down, go to the right here and click the down arrow and switch FUBA and FUB to the 0x, 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 1. You want to switch that to 1 where all the games are listed. And then switch FUB to the same setting. And then switch FOOF to the 4 where all those other games are listed. And once you've switched these three to those exact settings and nothing else, make sure to attach nothing else in this application as if you mess anything else up, you may have corrupted drivers or things like that. 
and you may break your NVIDIA control panel and you don't want to go through reinstalling all that. So be very careful what you change here. Anyway, once you're all done there, simply hit apply changes. And now if we ever want to revert this change, we can go here and click this little grayed out NVIDIA logo, which will restore NVIDIA defaults. But we're not going to do that right now. We're going to relaunch Tarkov and see if there's any difference in FPS by doing this and forcing the sizable bar on through the NVIDIA drivers. So now I'm back on Lighthouse with NVIDIA Profile Inspector's changes enabled. And as you can see, I'm actually getting lower FPS. I'm back to where I was all the way beforehand when I first started. And you may be wondering why that's the case. Well, NVIDIA Resizable Bar often uses up more of your VRAM. So since I run on high settings most of the time, let me pull those up real quick. I'll put those on screen. Since I run on those settings all the time, my VRAM gets maxed out. And I went on Lighthouse specifically for this benchmark so you guys would see what the FPS was like if I enabled resizable bar, but I didn't have any VRAM to spare. As you can see, there was no tangible benefit and even a loss at some points with this. And I wasn't able to recreate it, but when I first did this method and enabled resizable bar, I did notice a lot of stutters at first load in, and my VRAM was capped out at 8,050 megabytes so if you're running on a lower end card but you use lower settings and you have at least i'd say a gigabyte to spare of vram to play it safe then resizable bar may actually help you out and escape from tarkov if i had a lower end card i would run lower settings and actually see the tangible benefit on there but i don't so i just want to show you guys how to enable it and what possible benefits there are as long as you have enough VRAM to boot. But yeah, with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed this shorter video. I know it wasn't that long, but I wanted to show you guys how to enable this properly so that you guys may see a benefit in Escape from Tarkov. And yes, if you're going to ask, this does work in any game as long as you enable it through the Profile Inspector or if it's one of the 20 games that are already listed in that list that you saw in the video Profile Inspector, then it's already good to go. But besides that, you can go through Profile Inspector and force it on. For now, though, I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe the whole ordeal. Comment if you guys get any tangible performance increase in the comments below. And I'll be clucking out. Later. <laughs>